Okay, Babylon 5, this time we really are doing soulmate. Hello out there in the oldest nerd. Now, uh, according to the listings on um, Roku channel, which is where I get uh, the Babylon 5 shows, I get the ones that have not had the special effects redone and all that kind of stuff uh, because basically it's free. But uh, what I had was uh, that was labeled Soulmates last week uh, actually was the next episode in which uh, Talia and Bester uh, are uh, are at odds. And so what we have here is uh, a, a, a switch of titles. So um, this one really is uh, Soulmates this time. Now, uh, what this is about is uh, Londo has three wives. He's being visited by his three wives, and uh, they are coming at his invitation. Now, they ha were set up to wait because he was having a big party, and we don't really know what that was about. But uh, eventually, uh, there are other parties that are going on. And much of it has to do with Londo's ascension. He was uh, uh, he ascended 30 years ago, and so this is an anniversary. He is uh, from the successes that they've been having uh, with his uh, help, unbeknownst to anybody else, with the shadows. Uh, he's uh, he's looking very good in the eyes of the emperor, and the emperor has allowed him uh, to have uh, a wish. And so he wants all his wives together so that he can uh, tell them what his wish was, which was to get a divorce. Now, uh, they wouldn't let him have a full divorce, but he could get rid of two of his three wives. And uh, they are all quite a piece of work, but what would you expect for Lando? Meantime, uh, there is an ex-husband of Talia Winters. Now, uh, Talia was forced into a relationship with uh, Matt Stoner, uh, who is also a telepath. They believed by breeding the two of them that uh, they might make a more superior telepath. That's what Psychor does all the time. Uh, and um, that didn't work out. After a year, they split up. And uh, Matt was actually able to leave Psychor, which is, uh, by most thoughts, not possible. And apparently, by his explanation to Talia, was that uh, they did an experiment on him and uh, it went wrong and it caused him to lose all of his telepathic ability, which is how he was able to leave Psychor. He knew how to replicate that, do it for her, and give her the freedom to leave. And uh, that's where that plot goes. Now, um, Garibaldi doesn't trust him from the beginning of the time that he steps in to Babylon 5, and there is a um, kind of a commonality between what he does and what one of Londo's wives does. But we won't get into that here. What I want to say is that this episode is not one that adds to the canon of the show. Not really. Up to now, we have had uh, a lot of world building going on of the oncoming of the Great War. This is the year of the Great War. And so uh, they're building up to that. This episode is just kind of a little character study, both of Talia and from Londo. We learn a little bit more about Londo. Uh, we learn a little bit more about Delenn, uh, who is uh, struggling with her uh transformation uh, into a more human-like humanoid. And the reason that she does it, uh, as she's explained to various people on the station, is that so she can have a better understanding of humanity. And yet, uh, there are some things that she just doesn't know how to deal with and has enlisted Ivanova and her help. So, with these three stories going on, all we're doing is learning a little bit more about Delenn, a little bit more about Londo, a little bit more uh, about um, Talia. And I don't think that it really moves the overall story arc any, but uh, each of these stories are interesting 
and I think that it's all worth seeing. Uh, the acting, of course, is very good. The believability quotient is really quite good. Uh, I, I think by the end of the episode, you will assume that Londo is a little bit smarter than you might have expected. Uh, he seems to be one who doesn't really use his mind a lot, but uh, in fact, he is uh, uh, really subtly uh, uh, quite sharp. And um, with regard to Garibaldi, who uh, uh, seems to have a, um, a good instinct about him, uh, uh, we, we see more of that as well. So that's what I get from uh, Babylon 5 Soulmates, and uh, my apologies once again for getting those reversed, but that was, as I said, in the listing on the, uh, uh, the they, uh, they listed Soulmates last week when it should have run, and the show that they ran was something else, and my fault, not actually reading the title as the episode began. So uh, I'm paying more attention to these things and hopefully we'll be able to catch them from here on out. So uh, please leave comments below, if you will, if you uh, enjoyed this episode. And um, maybe you have some insight that I don't. I hope you do. And uh, I'd love to, uh, to share that with you. So if you will, and uh, leave a, uh, a like and a subscription if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't have any obligation at all in it. Uh, it, but it does help the channel. So I thank you very much, and uh, we will see you next week with a whole nother round of our various shows here. And until then, don't go far.